So we have Jocelyn, Karen, and Annette from Canada. And then we have, <laughs> and, and then we have uh, Janice and Bruce, also from Canada, actually. You're from Toronto, right? <laughs> so actually now from being North America, we're actually only Canada. Yay. There you go. <laughs> um, so Yay. The, <laughs> I love you guys. I love Canada. I love your country. Now, where are um, you from? Where are you from? Can we just go through where we're all from then? Yes, sure, please. Uh, Winnipeg. From Mississauga. Sherwood it's Park, Alberta. Okay. So we're across the country. Yeah. Outside of Toronto. Already done? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just outside of Toronto. Okay, good. Yes, yes. So, and I think, Karen, you are up in the mountains, right? Edmonton. Wait. We're near Edmonton. Yes. In Alberta. Good, good, good. So yeah, in Canada actually. These, if you've read the ingredients well, should be have should have been uh, okay, washed of, of course, uh, cooked, uh, and then squeezed and chopped. Okay. So these are uh, all done, and then 350 grams of ricotta, and this is it. It's plain ricotta. Then these are two eggs that have been uh, mixed, okay, already. And then I have a, a little bit of flour and butter and sage. Sorry, my sage is not very pretty. I got it yesterday and it's not really at its best shape, but it will do. <laughs> and then we have simply salt and nutmeg. So nutmeg, I always suggest to have ready to ground nutmeg because the the one that you can find already grated is not as good as the the real nutmeg so if you oops, if you can have the the proper nutmeg to ground that's better so we can still, we can still really hear the tv oh i'll move it's probably from my husband's watching tv oops <laughs> we'll have to bother jerry <laughs> Jerry, are you going to turn it down, Jerry? Okay, he's going to turn it down. Thank you. <laughs> Send them out. Send them out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you hear? Are you okay? Internet. I think we're good now. So, are you ready with all the ingredients? Can we start? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. So, you can take your spinach. And you can start already to put to put together the ricotta, okay? I'm gonna move. And you can you can you can start to mix the two ingredients together. Okay, so we have to mix them up well together, okay? They have to be well mixed together. Sorry, I'm going to use my hands. This is probably don't mind. the Italian way. The Italian way, yes, messy, baby. <laughs> So actually, while I'm doing this, I'm just going to say a few things. The first thing is um, that nudi in Italian, it's, uh, it's actually a Tuscan word that, mean, word that means naked. Uh, and this is because they're basically the filling of ravioli, you know, the ravioli pasta, and being the filling, but without the pasta, they're basically naked. That's why they're called like that because they're made without the, their coat, basically. Um, and so this is an interesting hint. And the other thing is that thanks to this, today's recipe, I've actually learned that I was doing them wrong before. And so now I've improved <laughs> myself. <laughs> so 
Now, once your ricotta and spinach are well mixed together, you can add salt. It's, of course, it's to your own taste. It doesn't have to be too much, nor it doesn't have to be too little. They have to be tasty, but not too salty. So it's, uh, we, in Italian, we say cubi, quanto basta. As much as you think it's enough. And you mix them up together just a little bit. Then we go to the nutmeg. So nutmeg, again, you have to judge the quantity, but basically it has to smell of nutmeg once you put the nutmeg. So if you're grating it, you have to be a bit of patient, especially if you have this stupid grater like me. <laughs> That's the little one. Yeah, it's, a t it's the one that they give with the, with the nutmeg. Oh. Yeah. I, I broke mine, so it's... Uh, are you okay? All, all doing fine? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Good. Yeah. So I'll try now to see if, if it's enough, but I doubt it's going to be enough. Just... So you can also smell it to see and to judge if you think that the nutmeg is enough. I think I need a little more. And of course, because your spinach are already cooked at the end of uh, this preparation before to put the eggs, you can also taste it. It's no bad in doing that because it, everything it's, it's ready to mm. eat, let's say. So you can judge if, if salt and nutmeg are enough. Is it enough salt? <laughs> Mine is lacking salt. <laughs> All good, guys? Yes, All good. almost. Yeah. Almost there. Good. <clears throat> Irene, okay. how's your brother? He's good. He's in lockdown in the countryside, so I don't get to oh. see him since now three, four weeks. But um, we, we do video calling and because my other brother is with me. He's locked up in that room over there. Locked up. <laughs> like that. But um, so he's fine. They're both fine, actually. And okay, this should be pretty much what's happening now. Not very, mm -hmm. not Mine very hot. a little greener, but oh well. Maybe, maybe a little more spinach. Or did you put enough ricotta? Uh, maybe not. Mm, I, I think, think they, they will, they more. will, if I you want, if you more. have, yeah, if you have more, you should have more. So now it's time. If you think that salt is good and nutmeg is enough, then you could already start mixing the eggs with it, okay? Mm -hmm. Irene, we have got our our uh, ricotta at the delicatessen. Yes. And we got the and we got the firmest that they had, but ours looks a lot soupier than yours. Okay. Um, do you think that in the mixture it's too wet? Yes, way too wet. Okay. So, what you can do? Do you, Do you have um siever? Siever? Am I saying it correctly? Yes. Yes. Um, what yeah. you can do before before to proceed to the next step, 
you can see, you can try and see if you, because you've already mixed it up with the spinach, right? Yeah. Okay, so we can try, you can put some in the sieve and squash it to see if you can get out as much as water as you can. Because if they're too wet, if they're a little wet, it's not a problem. But if they're too wet, then they, they won't stay together. So yes. okay. did you already put the eggs? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for uh, not to. Um, do, do you want to? Uh, we'll just keep trying. Okay, try even in, in, if you have the bowl with you, try to squeeze it. Yes. And if you can get some of the water off, then you, you, you just um, drain it off. You know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can, can you try and let me know? Yeah. Because otherwise, I have a plan B for you, which was yeah. the the other way I was doing nudie before to learn how to make them properly, probably. <laughs> um, <laughs> which is actually I've learned that uh, nudie they become like gnocchi in the end, similar to gnocchi. Mm -hmm. What my mistake was to actually use the dough to use this this mixture as a dough. But actually, nudie shouldn't be treated as like, like that. They should be done as we will do now, one by one and mixed into flour. But the flour should not be mixed into the mixture. Oh, so really? what we're going to do now is that. But if you, Janice and Bruce, find it hard because yeah. it's, you think they're too wet, you could still add flour to them and then yeah. make and your little bowl, okay? Yeah. It's not the proper way, but it, it still works. The only yeah. thing is... Careful not to put too much flour. They have to be, it has to be enough to keep it together, to keep them together, to have a, um, yes. a firm mixture, but it doesn't have too much. Otherwise, they'll be too, um, like, chewy when you cook them, okay? Irene, so, since yeah. I'm not doing this, can I just, there's no flour in your mix right now with the spinach no. and ricotta, nothing. Exactly, no, 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 it's just, just to, to revise it again, it's just spinach, ricotta, salt, nutmeg, and two eggs. Right. Okay? So, probably, I'm not sure, but probably if Janice and Bruce are doing that, they might put the flour inside. We're not going to do that. Right. This is only in case, for, for them, if, if it's too wet. But usually, okay, I lost my spoon, wait, wait a second. So what we should do now is to take, sorry, so put some flour in your hand, just a little bit. You have a little, you put a little bowl in your hands like this, okay? And then you just toss it into the flour. The flour is just on the outside, you see? Yeah. That's it. And then okay. have, you got, have you got flour on the counter there to put it on? Yes, I'm sorry, okay. yes. This is, um, it's a cutting board uh, or a plate, anything that you have. And okay. it has, yeah, flour yes. on it, just a little bit. Okay. And so, as you, I, I'll show you again. So, Janice and Bruce, how are you doing there? It's coming along. Sorry? It's getting thicker. It's getting thicker. Okay, did you put the flour in? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Remember not to put too much, okay? Right. And let me know how you're doing. So for, for the others, can you see what I'm doing? So have a bit, little bit of flour on your hands so that yeah. the, 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 new, the, let's say, the spinach and all well, the mixture doesn't get stick to your hands. You do a little bowl like this, and, and then, then you toss it into the flour, and you mix it. And are you using like a soup spoon? Uh, yeah, I'm just getting a spoon to have it, let's say, to have the right amount. But it really depends on you, the size. The size that you want to have it. Doesn't really matter. You're going to have, okay. usually these, is, these should be, I'm doing the big ones, as, as, like right. the picture I sent you. But you can do them smaller <laughs> if you want. I didn't see a picture. Uh, so is it like a small egg? Um, smaller, I would say. Um, okay. To be precise... Mm -mm, wait a sec. Um, so this, this, the book says like a walnut size. 
Oh, that's small. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, me, mine are a bit big, big walnuts, but. <laughs> okay, this is not working. What, what's wrong, Joss? Well, I don't know. I got to get more flour on my hands, I think. Let me try it again before I. So do, do you think. I, I mean, it's, it's still, yes. Do you think it's, it's the mixture that it's not the right texture? Yeah, it might be a bit wet, but I'm going to try. Just let me try again. Okay. So Karen, how are you doing? Um, they, good. <laughs> I think. Working? Okay, good, think good. So. Good to hear. They're a little rustic, but that's okay. <laughs> Do you think they're too thick? Uh, no, I think they're good. Okay, okay. <laughs> Janice that's and Bruce, good. how are you doing? Can I make gnocchi out of this instead of nudie? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Can I? Yes. So, do, do you want to turn the video on? So that I, I, I can see, I can see So oh, did, 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 you, here. did you manage to put the, so after there. putting the flour in, oh, ciao. <laughs> after okay. putting the flour in, do you think it's, uh, so hold it up a little bit. Uh, so do you think it's thick enough to make gnocchi like you said? I think, I, I think if I put more flour in, I can make gnocchi. Okay, how, did you put the wool 50 grams? Yes. Okay. But I have more. Uh, so I think probably what the problem was also that probably you didn't put enough spinach. But you can try okay. now to add a little bit of uh, more flour. Okay. And, and you can try okay. to do like, okay. I don't know if we did it together, if we did them together to do the snake to make the gnocchi, yeah. you remember? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So I, I cannot, unfortunately, <laughs> The, the, the stupid limit of this is that we're on a video, so I cannot really judge that well what you're doing. So I'm sorry. Yeah. I cannot guarantee that the result will be fine. So I, I owe you a dinner, okay? <laughs> <laughs> next year. <laughs> yeah, next year. No, that's too thin. What too I can thin. suggest is try to put the least possible. Yeah, yeah, okay, let me try. A flour, I just it, really, really what you need. Or maybe because I see that your mixture, it's very, um, um, it's green, Oopy. but did, did, he, did, did you mix the spinach? Or uh, because the spinach, they have to be, uh, so if you buy the, the leaves, so the fresh spinach, you usually boil them. And then yes. once they're boiled, you squeeze them and chop them. They have to be chopped, yes. but okay, okay. So that's what you did. So probably it's just a ricotta. I'm not sure. Well, mine aren't really turning out either. Why? What? What's wrong? It's what do you think is wrong? Too wet. Too wet. But I drained my my ricotta through. I think maybe my spinach was too wet, but I thought I had done a good job. But it's just all. Look at my hands. Oh, well, my, my hands, I had to wash them. My hands are, uh, I had to wash them as well because they were too uh, sticky. That, that's no problem. Um, so far, we have five and not, they're all different sizes. Well, that doesn't matter. It's, it's home cooking, so it doesn't have to be all the same. Mm -hmm. But um, you think you're, 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 you managed to do little bowls, Joss? Yeah, sort okay, of. Okay, that's good. That's good. No, I'm oh, not no. going to show them to you, though. Okay, okay, don't worry. <laughs> I don't judge it anyway. Remember that I rent home, but I'm not a chef, so it's okay. <laughs> they go from footballs to I don't even know what. <laughs> Perfect. Karen, you're all silent. You're doing a good job there? I think I'm okay. Can you see me? Um, not really you're far away yeah you're far away okay no no they look good yeah they stay if they stay together and you can make little bowls that's perfect <laughs> my hands are getting too sticky again janice bruce how are you doing yeah. good making meatballs okay good <laughs> <laughs> Did I 
So don't touch anything. So how about Dennis? I've, I've heard from John. Dennis? Oh, okay. How long approximately it will take to get through is a question of week or is it more a question of months? Would you be more specific? Yes, thank you for your question. Whatever. There we go. <laughs> uh, guys, are you okay? Yeah. I'm yeah. Fa faking it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure these are going to stay together when I cook them, but anyway. So, <clears throat> useful question, because it, it, was, it was kind of hard for me to find the right time for everyone uh, around the, the globe. But, um, so what time is for you then? Because now you are Winnipeg, you are actually in the three sides of the, of the country. Yeah, I'm right in the middle. In the middle. So, I, um, it was 11 o'clock a.m. when I started. Okay, so... It, We'll, it was 12 o'clock in Toronto, in our time. Yeah, 12 o'clock okay. for us. Per, 10 yes. Alberta. <laughs> okay, that's too early. <laughs> <laughs> so what time, what, what, uh, how soon are you going to eat? Do you know? Or after we finish, will be too early, maybe for you, Karen? Uh, gotta wait till Greg gets home to eat, so probably like 5.30 or 6. Or you, so you're having them tonight? Can I? <laughs> uh, best would not to, but you can do that to keep yourself busy today. Once in a while, you'll have to toss them again into flour because they will as absorb it. So the, so the sooner we'll you can do them, the better. How do I cook them? So the cooking part, it's very simple because you have to put a, po a pot with hot water, uh, boiling mm -hmm. hot water and salt, of course. And once the, the water is uh, boiling, you, you toss them in delicately, stirring a few times, making sure they don't, get, they don't stick to the pot. And then after a couple of minutes, they will basically, um, how do you say? Um, sorry, I'm, um, I'm Rise the to word. the top? Yes. Float? Yes, they will float. Thank you. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. And at that time, then you can, you can take them off. So... I'm going to explain you also how to do the, the dressing, which if you could find sage, it's very basic. Could everyone find sage? Yeah, yes. I was happy. No. Yeah. Someone said no, Karen? I said no. Oh, okay. No problem. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know it's, it's not easy. I'm a little bit so, sad right now. I have a question, Irene. <laughs> don't worry. Yes? In, instead of making them all right now, can we just keep the mixture and... Yes. Do the flour later to make yes. it for Yes, if you want, yes. Because okay. I, I, I gave, I'm sorry, I gave for granted that you were all going to have lunch, but this is <laughs> it's very Italian, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay. So I thought, I thought it was going to go uh, to work for lunch. So this is a good well, tip for next week. I have to do something that it can last till the evening. Sorry, guys, you're my guinea pigs for today. No problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But yes, if you want to keep the mixture for later and continue to do this later, you can do this later, okay, uh, just okay. before eating. Yeah. So, wait a second, I have to wash my hands because they're too sticky. Um, so, for those who have the sage, it's very easy. And for you, Karen, it's no problem because my favorite sauce is just butter and parmesan. Do you have some parmesan? Yes, I do. Good. So, um, what you have to do is you, you take both of you, either if you go, uh, no, actually not, not you, Karen. So the other, everyone else that has the sage. So you, you, you take the sage and you cut it. Mine is already washed. You cut it into pieces. Doesn't really matter how big, depends on you. So this is just to show you, you can keep doing what you're doing, don't worry. But you just cut them into pieces, okay? Just like this. And you take a pan. So I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to start the fire. 
but you basically put the sage into the pan with the butter. You put it on heat and let the butter melt. Once the butter is all melt, you turn off the heat. When your nudi will be ready from the boiling pot, or the, uh, from the water, you, you, with, a, with a drainer, how do you say? Uh, wait, strainer. Second. Yes, something like this. You can take yeah. them from the pot and put them here. Careful not to put too much water. A little bit of water, it's fine, but not too much. So drain them very well, okay? okay. And so once this is done, then you can grate a lot of Parmesan. Be generous. I love Parmesan. And if you, if you like, black pepper. Instead, if you don't have the sage, so Karen, this is for you. Okay. You, simply, you simply catch a bowl, and then yes. a big one enough for your nudie. You've pu you put in your butter, same quantity, so 50 grams was okay, cut into pieces, and you already grate in Parmesan, okay? I don't know how much Parmesan you may need, but um, it depends how much, you li how much you like it, but I like it a lot. So basically, once you have them both ready, when you have the nudie already floating in the water, you toss them directly into the pan and you start stirring. Careful, because it has to be done gently. When these are ready and cooked, they're very um, soft. So you don't have to stir them too uh, harshly because otherwise they break. So I suggest to have a larger bowl and to, to have it, Toss you know, it. To, yeah, exactly. Toss it so, a yes. Um, remember, Karen, to save a little bit of the water where the nudie have cooked. Right. Because in case your butter and, and, and parmesan are, uh, they're not wet enough for the nudie, you can still add a little bit. Right. Is there, is, is, am I clear enough? Sorry, yeah. my yes, English is a bit rough <laughs> these days. Okay. <laughs> right. So, Irene, I, of course, I haven't done any of this, but I will do it uh, yes. as soon as I get the ingredients, and I'll probably yes. do it this weekend. But, okay, once they're all done, and if they've turned out and everything, what is the serving suggestion? How do you serve these? Like, is that a meal? Is, so, you, actually, is it a side dish? In Italy, it's it's considered pasta, so it's a, it's what we have what we call a first course. Okay. Um, so for you, because I know we we we're, we're little pigs, so we eat a lot. But um, <laughs> for you, it might be just a main dish, you know. So you can prepare it with some sauce and have maybe a snack before, some appetizer before, or something afterwards. But even remember that there's spinach and ricotta, so they're not like gnocchi that they're heavy and and filling. Uh, right. But I, I would say, because it's only you and Jerry, these quantities are for four people, so oh. only have these. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> half, be plenty so enough. half the recipe then, half the recipe. If you, if you want to have the right quantity, yes, half the recipe would be enough. For yeah, two. Yeah. Yes, Could for these two, be yes. frozen before we cook them? So you can fr freeze them if you want. The, so it's better not to but in your case if you want you can freeze them because um uh, it's my fault but um because you're having them tonight so you can freeze them um the important thing karen if you can freeze them in the dish because they, okay. they have to be frost frozen uh separated yep. okay. okay so if you have enough room in the free refrigerator uh in the freezer like on, then a, on a cookie sheet or something yes flat. yes yeah. exactly can, so can you open this, one of yours up close? I want to see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're so pretty. Oh, uh, <laughs> lovely. Way too wet. They're not, they don't look like that. But anyway, I think I know what I did wrong. Okay. So remember that the, um, the spinach have to be well drained and well squeezed. Yeah. The water yeah. has to be completely squeezed out. As you can see, wait, I'm going to take this closer. As you can see, you can still still see the spinach here. Yeah. See, yeah. it's kind of chopped. It's not completely yeah. mashed. Um, okay. This is also something important. We chop them just because otherwise th there are long like um, strains. I don't know if you yeah. see that. Yeah. Uh, so they, after when you have to roll them up, it's it's a bit annoying or when you're eating them. But you can still see 
there are pieces of them. You see, they're, they're really um, like little pieces of them. They're not completely meshed. So, Irene, do you chop them before you cook them or after you after, cook them? After, so after. So you, you cook them, you, the you squeeze thing. all the water out completely, yeah. more than once. Yeah. You, you take a handful and keep yeah. squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. And then once that is done, you place it onto a chopping board and you chop. Yeah. Chop, okay. But it's, it's, it's to ch chopped roughly, it's not really um uh like uh again it's, they're not completely uh meshed they're only chopped it's it's uh almost 40 minutes yeah i think well it's not it's not complaining zoom is not telling me anything okay <laughs> we're still live <laughs> it's not complaining will um, zoom give you a warning I think so. I think so. I hope it doesn't just stop the call. Otherwise, I'll call you each one <laughs> just to know how you've done. How are you doing? Um, I had a message a few minutes ago that said there's now no time limit. Oh, oh okay. I like oh, so. Wow. Maybe I've been testing so much that they, yeah, they pity me a little bit. <laughs> so, guys, wait a second. I have to take a little bit of flour because I'm. I'm short for the last two new, the two new So actually, for the future, if you're gonna join again, any of you, the, the, the serving is always four, just because it's okay. practical if Great. you need to split in two or yeah. if you need to double or anything. Um, usually that's what recipes uh, suggest. And yes, uh, for example, nudie, it's, it's not a good idea if you have to make them a while after. So knowing that, for example, uh, in North America or Canada, at least, people uh, are having this kind of stuff like more elaborated for dinner. And I, c I cannot join you really for a call uh, in your evening because it would be past midnight for me. Um, but I will remember that. I will remember that. Um, yeah. And then I don't know if any if you come up with any other suggestion, really, it, you're, you're very welcome to to let me know and um, if you have any questions, if I can help you with anything that you're doing now. This was I thought it, Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, this is wonderful. And no, thank you. Oh, <laughs> you're too nice. You. <laughs> it was very informative, uh, Irene, even though I, don't, I didn't make it following along, I've taken notes. So I will make the recipe too. Uh, and I've learned a little bit from all the others that have tried it so now i good. you know hopefully will be able to do it myself good good luck let me know if you need any help Thanks. but you can try it again you know and um i will keep them as well because i didn't think about the fact that I'm, i was not going to do them away right away because it's it's uh, not even 7 p.m here uh, and i will let you know how they look like and how they taste in a couple of hours i think okay <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Irene. Thanks. It was great. Thank you very much, everyone. And thanks for joining. And uh, Perfect. I great job. Yeah, thanks. wonderful. Thanks. Good evening. <laughs> You're too nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. And thanks for your support. I need it. <laughs> okay. So thanks, Irene. Um, you're very welcome, everyone. Um, Good job. So if you have any question, really anything at all, get in touch with me again, okay? We'll do. do. Okay. Yeah. Ciao, everyone. Bye. Ciao. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.